Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to this tutorial for Divi Machine. In this one we're going to be talking about a custom loop layout. Now this is quite important for you to understand uh, when creating these websites. So if there's one video to watch, it's this one. <laughs> okay, so let's jump straight in. So a custom loop layout. What is a custom loop layout? What does it do? So it displays the posts that you want for that for, for that custom post. Let's jump over to a website called motors.co.uk it's not the best looking website in actual fact I don't even want to use this website too much but I just I just wanted to show you one so this shows you all the cars that like so here if we look at cars you know here's all and the reason why I've just put I've put up this one is because we we build in a cars website as I've mentioned before it does isn't just specific to cars so what we want to do is we want to create we, we, we want to use a module to show all the different cars like this on a page but we want complete control on what is shown on each of these cards on each of these grid cards okay so we want to have the title we maybe want to have the year we want to have an image the price we want to have I'm just using these guys for example we want to have you know some more details over here and we want to have a button for example so all of this can be created with the custom loop layout and what you do is you create a one layout in the Divi library which would be called the loop layout and this one layout will, will, will have all the modules that you want to show for each that will be repeated for each post so in that you would show you would add the title you would add an advanced custom field item, you would add the thumbnail, you would add another advanced custom field item for the for the price and so on. You would add the view post button module. And then you tell the archive loop module for each post display this template. Okay? So let's just remove that website for now. Don't want to, don't want to kind of confuse you too much. So let's Let's just go ahead and start this. Okay, so let's head over to the Divi library and let's create a new layout called Loop Layout. You can call it whatever you want. Make it a section and submit. Okay, so let's just do a very, very, very simple one. You want everything to be full width, really, unless you want to create a repeater like for yeah so let, let's get there okay so the first thing I want to do is I want to add a thumbnail so you can actually just type in thumbnail and that will pull up the thumbnail module I can use a visual builder if I want but with a custom loop layout and I actually prefer the backend builder so I'm just going to be using this you can choose the, the image size and if you want to link it to the single page which I do so when, you, when, somebody, cl when somebody clicks on the image it's going to take me to the single page the image style default has a overlay image only so no overlay or flip image I quite like the flip image so what will happen is it will well actually let's just leave it as no flip image but with flip image you can you can specify an, uh, another advanced custom field that when you um, so that when you hover over the image it will then just flip over to that image so it's quite nice if you do like a team members uh, section and you want to have like I don't know like one pose and then when somebody hovers over it, the, the pose changes you can get some really interesting you know team member profiles uh, like for your agency in that way but I'm just going to do you know no image no overlay for now so I have a thumbnail and I want a title so I want a post title I don't want H1 for SEO purposes I want to have maybe an H3 or H4 and I also want to link back to the single page and finally, let's add advanced custom field item just to show you how this works. Um, I want to make this price. I'm not going to show the label. Pretty father text, yes. Prefix. I'm going to add a pound symbol. And then let's add this image, which isn't the best, but let's just leave it like that for now. And update. Okay, great. So we've created this loop layout. Now, how do we go and, you know, tell 
the how do we go and create this this post loop that then will use this so i'm just going to go through to the let's just go through to the the divi theme builder and in here i want to create a new template for the cars archive page the archive page is this page so it'll be your url forward slash and then the slug so in my case it's forward slash cars on this archive page well in here i want to go ahead and oh am i editing i'm editing the, the single page sorry so i want to i want to build a new body for the archive page I want to be doing the the simplest version, which is simply just an archive loop. To make it full, archive loop. In here, you need to choose the post type. So the post type is cars. And now I can specify this custom loop layout. So I want to choose loop layout. Okay, so check that out. So what it's done is it's pulled in the image, the title, the price, and sorry, the title. The, the, the thumbnail, the title, and the price. If we go back to the theme, the Divi Builder, you'll see here we have thumbnail, title, and price. If you look at it like this, thumbnail, title, price, but in the Theme Builder, thumbnail, thumbnail title, price. Okay, so you can kind of get an idea on how that works. So we let's just save this for now. And I think with the Divi Builder, uh, I don't really, you have to save over there as well. Let's reload this page now. And you'll see, oh, there's some debugging I, I was doing. So uh, let me just remove that for a sec. Okay, that's really gone now. That was just some debugging. Okay, so here we go. So I have all the, all the cars. Now, we can get a bit more interesting and we can start to in the loop layout we can start to add um, things like box shadow border radius if we update that you will see what's going to happen here there we go that looks pretty cool one thing is there's a bit of space underneath here so why is there space now this is really handy for you to work this out as well i know why there's space but i want i want you know just so you can get an idea what we have is we have a section and a row inside the, the loop layout if you look over here if we inspect the page you can actually see the section all sections throughout the divi website have padding because you're using a section inside this 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 uh post this section has padding so you, if i don't know if you've ever used the inspect tool but if you hover over uh, something that tells you what it is if there's green like you can see over there that's padding and if i look on the left, right hand side i can see there we go the padding is 54. you can actually uh you know edit the the padding there and there but let's just uh go through to um this loop layout and in the section go su uh, spacing padding top and bottom I want to put zero and update this and reload there we go so that padding has gone now so here we can see how we can we can change the appearance of each of these cards to exactly how we want so here I can add a view View po view button so view cars. So this view post view view post button, you can also have a custom URL end. So let's say if you want to have it so at, when it goes to the page it scrolls down, you can add a exclamation mark oh, a hashtag you know I don't know contact or whatever, you, and then it will scroll down to that the section with the ID contact. For more information about that, check out uh, you know anchor points with Divi. Yeah, I can also you know specify custom design, which I'm going to do right now, just to keep it consistent. And 
let's reload this. Okay, so, you know, I'm just doing this very quickly so you can kind of get an idea. Um, the one cool thing about this, uh, this archive loop module is that I'll show you some settings in there, um, which you can get an idea. So, the first setting is the post type, so we're going to be choosing cars. Custom loop layout is the, the layout we specify. The filter update animation style, so when we include the filter module, this will come into play and there's different styles that you can have. So when you're filtering posts, it can have like a different animation, so like things spinning or, you know, there's some color for that. Now, if there's a no posts, you can actually create a layout in the Divi library to show when you have no posts. So you can have a nice, you know, nice image saying, you know, and then saying, sorry, there's no cars available. You know, please search again. Loop options, here we can choose what we want to display. The post count, you can include, so this will be how many posts are shown. If you want to show all posts, go minus one, and it will show all of them. Or you can go six, for example, or you show six. Uh, include categories, so here we can say, okay, I only want to show specific categories. You can add it there, comma separated, likewise with tags. So here I can actually do SUV, I think would be one. Maybe not, I'll have a look in a sec. Uh, you can also filter by advanced custom field type, so you can filter by make, or just leave it as default. Oh, so here, so you have to, so let's say price. And then you can filter only for that price. So I don't know, let's make let's say only BMW and then it'll only show BMW cars, but we don't we want to show all cars. Sort order and order. Element options. Here we can have a load more button. And this will load more posts. Let's just at the same time add some custom styling for this. Um, red don't and there we go so we're gonna have a load more button load more and then the load more loading text so when you click on it when it's loading the post it'll have, have some more text grid options okay so here we have grid or ma masonry so these are the two options because we have this little bump over here let's just show you masonry so you can get an idea of how it works, but I probably would want to have the name on one row. Grid columns, so we can change the grid columns, so three, four, I'm going to leave it as four for now so you can see that. So the actual benefit of this is you can actually specify the grid columns on desktop, the grid columns on tablet, and on mobile. So mobile you can have two if you want. So you can be very specific on how many you want to show for each Size. In the design tab, there's several other options there that you can use. So let's just save this now, and we should have um, masonry, and we should have a load more button at the bottom. Okay, so right now it isn't going to show masonry because they're all the same size, and there's load more. So let's click load more. Comes in. Load more. And there we go, we have all the posts that are loaded. So that's quite a nice way to, to you know, to have a fast loading website, I guess, because you can load just six posts if that's what you want, and then you can keep loading more. Okay, so I hope this makes sense with the, uh, with the archive loop module and the custom loop layout. Uh, where we can also get interest in is um, let's just remove this image because I really don't like this image and I'll, I'll create a better style and let's add a repeater module so you get you get an idea of how this works so the repeater module let's add a new advanced custom field and here I want to have um, seats 
uh, I'll just have the label for now or let's let's leave the label off and I'll just put it I'll, I'll just put an icon for now just so you can see um, let's just find a random one it doesn't really matter okay so we have seats okay it's gonna okay see so here we go we can actually label this so seats duplicate that um, and I'm gonna do year now seats uh, seats and doors let's do seats and doors um, and I'm gonna have it as another one okay so what I've done is I've specified two advanced custom field items and I want to show them like, I want to have it repeated so instead of you having to add you know instead of you having to add okay I want to have two columns and I want to have one advanced custom field there and the other advanced custom field there you can use the repeater module for this and then here you can specify the grid columns so here I just want to have a two on tablet I want to have two and on mobile I want to have two so it's much easier than having to you know to use other bits of code to stop the view from stacking things here you do it yourself the other thing is the, the, the gutter width so I would say let's push it down all the way to one so there's no gutter um, the design you know you can modify all that but let's just let's just see how this looks move it above the button and update okay so here we could also you know align them on the left if you want and get the design exactly change the color of the icons to exactly how you want but here you can see how you can uh, you can have repeated modules and if I just inspect this and make the page go smaller you see it stays as two on mobile as well so that's because in, in the settings I've specified that so that's that's the beauty of the repeater module and how you can really use it to your benefit and that is how you you create a custom loop layout ie a custom layout for your posts on a loop which is what what we call uh, in, in WordPress uh, a, a loop query which is you know what this is it queries all the posts and puts it into a loop so for each post show this show this show this show this show this so for each post show thumbnail title price a repeater module and a button and that'll be dupe, and that'll be used as a base template for each post within the archive loop module okay so i hope this has uh, been been uh, helpful to you i hope you know you can i hope this makes sense uh, it's very similar with our other plugin body commerce which we use for e-commerce and woocommerce and we we give you the same functionality in there as well so they they kind of cross over in terms of how you do this but it really helps you to create a unique looking website um, that with a Divi builder and it's and it's a brilliant way to do it so any questions you know please there may be some questions so please in the comments or please email us at support at DiviEngine.com um, and uh, we do it will be worthwhile for you to check out um, you know any videos regarding the custom loop layout and body commerce as well because it applies to understanding how this works uh, um, yeah so by all means please check out those videos as well it'll give you help uh, so yeah have a great day and we'll see you in the next video